Neil Sean spills out more lies about existence of Lilibet and falsify Megan's fake California claim. In the swirling vortex of celebrity gossip and royal intrigue, few figures have sparked as much debate and speculation as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Their transition from royal life to Hollywood stardom has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride, filled with triumphs, controversies, and endless media scrutiny. Recently, Neil Sean, a prominent royal commentator, has reignited the flames of speculation regarding the existence of their daughter, Lilibet, and the authenticity of Meghan's claims about their life in California. But what truth lies behind these assertions? Are we witnessing a calculated attempt to distort reality? Or is there more to the story than meets the eye? Let's delve deeper. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Harry and Meghan's journey began with a fairy tale wedding that captured the hearts of millions around the world. However, the couple soon faced relentless media scrutiny, culminating in their decision to step back from royal duties in early 2020. Their subsequent move to California was portrayed as a fresh start, a chance to live life on their own terms. But as their popularity soared, so did the criticisms, with many questioning their motives and lifestyle. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, born on June 4, 2021, is the couple's second child, named after Queen Elizabeth II. The choice of name stirred up mixed reactions, particularly from royalists who felt it was a breach of protocol. Sean's claims about Lilibet's existence have added fuel to the fire, suggesting that the child may not be as real as the couple presents. This assertion has raised eyebrows and ignited discussions about the ethics of celebrity gossip, especially when it pertains to children. Neil Sean is no stranger to royal commentary. With a career spanning years in journalism and broadcasting, he claims insider knowledge of the royal family and their dynamics. His recent statements have positioned him as a controversial figure, blurring the lines between fact and sensationalism. But what motivates Sean to make such bold claims? Is it a desire for ratings, or does he truly believe in the narratives he spins? One of Meghan's most notable claims has been about her idyllic life in California. From her luxurious Montecito mansion to her connections in Hollywood, she paints a picture of a vibrant existence. However, Sean has suggested that this narrative is heavily manufactured. He argues that the couple's portrayal of their life is a facade, designed to mask the reality of their struggles adapting to life outside the royal family. In today's digital age, social media plays a pivotal role in shaping public perception. Meghan and Harry's Instagram presence has been meticulously curated, showcasing their philanthropic endeavors and family moments. Yet, critics argue that these portrayals can be misleading, serving to enhance their public image while obscuring the complexities of their real lives. Sean's commentary taps into this narrative, suggesting that the disconnect between their online persona and offline reality is more pronounced than ever. The claims made by Sean and other royal commentators have a tangible impact on public perception. For many, the allure of the Sussexes has diminished, replaced by skepticism and doubt. The idea that they may be fabricating aspects of their lives not only feeds into existing narratives about the couple, but also raises ethical questions about the treatment of public figures and their families. The media's role in the lives of Harry and Meghan cannot be overstated. On one hand, they have benefited from extensive coverage that has bolstered their brand and visibility. On the other hand, they have also been subjected to relentless scrutiny and criticism. Sean's claims exemplify the challenges the couple faces in navigating a landscape where their every move is dissected and discussed. Celebrity gossip often reflects deeper societal issues, including our fascination with wealth, power, and the human experience. In the case of Harry and Meghan, their story resonates on multiple levels. Love, rebellion, and the quest for authenticity. Sean's assertions tap into this collective curiosity prompting audiences to question not just the Sussexes, but the nature of celebrity itself. As we consume media narratives, it's essential to consider the ethical implications of speculation. Sean's claims may drive traffic and generate buzz, but they also risk dehumanizing the subjects of discussion. Lilibet, as a child, deserves the same respect and privacy afforded to any individual, regardless of their parents' public status. 
In an era where sensationalism often trumps accuracy, responsible journalism is more important than ever. Commentators like Sean have a responsibility to balance intrigue with integrity, ensuring that their narratives do not contribute to a culture of misinformation. The challenge lies in navigating the fine line between legitimate inquiry and harmful speculation.